Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to talk about something related to my detransition that is very near and dear to my heart and that is athletic competition. Um, so this is actually one of the biggest reasons why I am very excited and enthusiastic about my detransition is that it allows me to compete in sports. And I know some people might say, oh, well, trans women are allowed to compete in sports. So you could have done that when you were, you know, identifying as trans. But even though technically a lot of sports federations do allow trans women to compete, I never really wanted to just because there's so much controversy about that issue for pretty obvious reasons and I never really wanted to, you know, compete in a sport and have that sort of controversy surrounding me if I was going to win because if I'm going to compete in something, I want to push myself as hard as I can and win. But, you know, and I'm not necessarily going to go into, you know, stating my actual opinion in regards to whether or not it's like fair or not for trans women to compete against, you know, biological women. But, you know, for me personally, I just never wanted to be a controversial person when it comes to any sort of sport. And so, you know, during my eight years of, you know, identifying as trans and being on hormones, you know, I, I, I got involved in various levels of physical fitness. I got interested in like powerlifting and I got interested in like long distance running, but I always sort of lost interest because in my mind, like, you know, why am I doing this if I can't actually compete? And I never really felt... Like there is a way for me to compete in a way that wouldn't be like super controversial. Now, obviously some trans women do compete in women's sports and, you know, they're not shy of the controversy, but that just wasn't me. I just didn't want to, you know, have the work that I put into my training to be compromised by the controversy that comes from trans women you know, competing in sports. And, you know, I now, now w w with my detransition, I can compete as a male. Um, and, you know, while of course, when I was trans, I could have competed in the male category and not have any controversy given that I was born male. But because I was taking, you know, estrogen, um, and I didn't have any testosterone or ne negligible amounts of testosterone in my body, I was basically at a huge performance disadvantage relative to other people who were born male. So it wasn't really a good situation. And, you know, personally, I think that like trans, you know, people kind of need like their own separate like sports divisions in order to sort of alleviate a lot of these controversies. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just going to get canceled for that opinion, just what I stated right there. But, you know, that's sort of my, my personal belief. And, um, you know, I'm not going to go much further down that pathway. But for me, it was just mostly about not wanting to stir up all the controversy and whether the controversy is warranted or not warranted. I just didn't want to have all that attention drawn to me as like an athlete. And this was very frustrating to me because, you know, I, I'm a very competitive person. I've always had a very strong competitive energy and I've always been into fitness in some way or another, but I never really had an outlet for that physical competitive energy. And so throughout my whole eight years of transition, you know, I kind of just gave up on sports. And this was really sad to me because I think, you know, sports are great. They're, they're a great way to, you know, get out that competitive energy. And, you know, if you have it and that's bottled up inside of you, it kind of sucks. Um, so, um, but, but now that I'm detransitioned, and I am no longer having that performance 
um, you know, hit in terms of taking hormones and stuff. And now that my body is like running naturally again on testosterone, I feel like I have a chance to, you know, engage in those competitive activities um, in order to, you know, just get all this energy out of my body that I've been storing up for all these years. So, um, you know, I, I have a lot of injuries in, in my body. I've like dislocated my right shoulder like over 10 times. So probably not going to really do anything related to like strength or anything like that. But um, I, I have always had a interest in long distance running or just running in general. But I never really took it anywhere. Um, so, but, but now I feel like I have an opportunity to truly train and train for a competitive race um, against people my age, you know, and, and not feel like I'm at some disadvantage because I'm on hormones or not feel like I'm going to stir up all this controversy because of, you know, some decision I made. Um, and and so, so now I just feel like this whole world has like unlocked and it's obviously... And, and, and like now it's just given me so much like life and energy and it like you know, gives me structure and purpose into my days. And like I'm just really thriving right now, you know, getting back into training. So my big goal right now is I've always wanted to run a marathon. I've always wanted to get into long distance running. And so I have my sights set on a marathon in uh, next April. So I've recently begun the process of training for that. And this is exciting. Um, I, I'm like pretty out of shape. I need to build up my aerobic base. And um, but but I, I, I really love the discipline that goes into training, you know, how it structures the totality of your life, you know, nutrition, sleep, you know, training, you know, all, all the various aspects of discipline that go into that you know rest recovery you know there, there's so much that goes into it and, and i really just love you know that aspect and you know in terms of being a nerd and studying all the nerdy little things about you know how to you know optimize every little aspect of like your training or your life or you know different strategies and that's all very motivational for me and it just makes me a better person and it gives me lots of energy in life. And so I'm just like very excited. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I am excited about my detransition. So I just wanted to share that. And, you know, maybe throughout the course of my training, I might share more, you know, updates related to this, you know, fitness journey, you know, this, this running journey that I'm embarking on. And, you know, and I'm gonna try and, you know, still, you know, speak to the, you know, aspects of detransition and stuff. But I, I could see this YouTube channel shifting away from gender because I honestly don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about gender. <laughs> like, I am much more interested in just living my life and doing the things that I want to do and sort of, like, not spending all this energy on gender and all this stuff because I detransitioned to stop thinking about gender so much. So now I'm kind of putting all my energy in, like, my physical body, my health, my well-being, you know, physical fitness, competitive sports. Like, that's, like, performance. Like, all this is what, like, drives me and gets me excited and, like, breathes purpose into my day-to-day -day life. So just wanted to share that update, um, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for listening.